there! Welcome to the first episode of Anchor Point, where we are going to try to teach you the history of graphic design. And boy, is there a lot of it, so we'd better get started. The first thing that you need to know about design history is that it is influenced by art history and vice versa. For example, check out this painting. This is a fine art example of a movement called De Stiel, which is also applied to design. We can see De Stiel's influence in typefaces, page layouts, and even furniture design. But more on that in a future episode. Right now, we are going to focus on two very difficult and intimidating questions. What is art and what is design? So let's start with the first question. What is art? Art can be a painting of a founding father or a modern dance performance. Art can be a musical about Alexander Hamilton or a photographic image of a cute animal. But more specifically, art can be defined as works created by artists that are created to be beautiful or to express important ideas or feelings. What makes art beautiful and important is completely subjective and up to interpretation by the audience. Different people can take away different messages and meanings from the same piece of art, which is a concept that differs from design's purpose. So question two, what is design? Design can be a book cover or the packaging of pasta. It can be a chair made by Charles and Ray Eames or a logo for a baseball team. But design is best defined as visual communication of a specific message to a specific group of people to achieve a specific goal. From this definition of design, we already know three things to consider when looking at designs from yesterday and today. One, the message, two, the audience, and three, the goal. This is different from art because successful art can be interpreted in many ways, but successful design should only have one specific message being communicated. The differences and similarities between art and design have been argued for decades, and with each new art or design movement, it seems that the gray area between the two grows. This gray area between art and design exists in many different instances, but more commonly when something is repurposed. For example, have you ever seen a classic gig poster? At one point in that poster's lifetime, it it was meant as a design. It told you who was playing and the when and where. But over time, its function has changed, going from a design meant to inform to a piece of art. So what is art? What is design? The answer to these questions will never become less complex. But our efforts to understand and figure out the answers can only help us in our journey to make great stuff. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to never miss a video. If you have any questions or thoughts about what art and design are and how they relate, let us know in the comments below. Until next time, see you later.